Hey Sweet Friends and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you some fun projects. I recently ran into my local Dollar Tree and found a ton of the new real wood pieces that are perfect to DIY with. So I wanted to bring you some fun new ideas using some of the new wooden pieces as well as some of my all-time favorites that Dollar Tree keeps putting out and hopefully you can find a lot of inspiration. This video is sponsored by Acorn TV. Now let's get on into crafting. You'll have to let me know if your Dollar Trees are carrying these awesome new wood pieces. I'm trying to make a project with one of these chunky little 12 inch pieces as well as one of the flat planks that I found. And then I found these new galvanized words which fit perfectly on the plank and then painting this to put together like a little unique sign. This actually came out a pretty good size. But I wanted to mention if you can't find the Dollar Tree wood pieces, you can go to Home Depot and get like the longer boards and they will actually cut them down for you. Or if you have a table saw, you can even do it yourself. Um, so there's different ways to get pieces like this, but it is very convenient getting to pick these up for just $1 at Dollar Tree and ready to go. So like I said, just started off by painting these. I painted the top little piece with the mineral color paint. So it had a warm tone and then the plank I painted it white. And then I loved the these window clings. They have like a watercolor finish. So I just kind of took off some of the smaller little decor pieces and placed them at the top because I knew I was going to put that thankful word on there and then kind of rearrange them until they fit perfectly alongside the word. Just for a quick hold, I did start by gluing these with a glue stick and holding them down, but I will be Mod Podging over these, and that kind of camouflages in the edging of the window cling, and they don't look like they have like clear plastic around the edges. I hot glued the thankful word down. Now hot glue doesn't always work perfect on these metal words, but it does have a nice hold, um, but you can play around with E6000 and other adhesives. And then I am always addicted to adding in polka dots to my signs, but I'm using one of these cool little tools that have um, the little ball at the end and Dollar Tree sells these as well and then just dipping that in some moss green color and I feel like it just adds that extra little whimsical look but just kind of fills it in and doesn't leave so much negative space and then here I am like I said just protecting everything with the Mod Podge. You could just make the plank like the bottom piece with a thankful word on it if you wanted to but I am trying to make this just a fun unique sign by adding the board to the top and I wanted this to kind of be like a little swinging sign so I picked up this little picture hook kit from Walmart very inexpensive and I actually wanted to put these little hooks in the bottom and make the plank at the bottom kind of dangle so this gives it a really fun look makes it um, just more like decorative and neat than just a flat blank sign a really cool hack I like to do on soft wood pieces like this is to press that little tool down into the soft wood where I need to screw in the hook at and it just makes it a lot easier and then um, like I say making the sign kind of hang from just a piece of jute rope I tied a knot and then securing those down with pieces of large popsicle sticks. I was trying to watch the entire time and make sure I get this as straight as possible because I don't want the sign kind of hanging to the side. So I got those lined up and then adding in some of the little beads to each side. I feel like this is a great way to add beads into the project without wasting like a ton of them or using a bunch of them up, but just added a few to each side. And then once again, securing that with more of the pieces of popsicle and that's gonna give it a really strong hold and make sure that the juice twine just doesn't slip out of the hot glue. But really fun just to take a couple of extra seconds to add the extra detail on there, but I love how the sign turned out. enjoying all of these fun wooden DIYs but I want to take a second to tell you more about Acorn TV and why you should check it out and get signed up today especially while we are headed toward all of these cozy fall and winter months. 
Acorn TV is the largest commercial free British streaming service that offers compelling stories, exclusive premieres, and originals that you won't find anywhere else. It has hundreds of exclusive shows from around the world with award-winning series including mysteries, dramas, comedies, and more, and it comes in at the low price point at just $5.99 a month. We stream Acorn TV using our Google Chromecast at home, but you can also download the app or stream using Apple or Android services, Amazon Fire Stick, the Roku, and more. With Acorn TV, there is always something new to discover, and you can try out Acorn TV for free for 30 days just by going to acorn.tv and using code CRAFTSBYCAITLIN so that you can try it out for yourself and make sure that those are all lowercase letters. If you're anything like me and you are so ready for something new and refreshing, Acorn TV has weekly releases and hundreds of exclusive shows that you're not going to find anywhere else. I recently started watching My Life is Murder starring award-winning actress Lucy Lawless and unapologetic detective Alexa Crowe, whose unique skills allowed her to unravel the truth behind the most baffling of crimes. It's been called the most perfect summer series by LA Times and a great way to unwind while we are staying in in more of these cozy months ahead. Once again, be sure to get your free 30 days at acorn.tv and using my code CRAFTSWAYCAITLIN. Thanks once again to Acorn TV for sponsoring today's video, and let's jump back into crafting. So the first project kind of had more steps, but I want to share with you a really easy way to make over one of these little chunky slats. So this, I think, said 12 inches, so just keep that in mind if you are wanting to cut them yourself. And then using more window clings, I love... Uh, picking up all of these fall window clings it's so much easier than having to kind of hand letter or cut anything out and then i picked out like the longer words that were a lot slimmer so they would fit on this board give it a coat of white paint and then glued everything back on the board and these make like the cutest little signs to put on shelves you could even like kind of place these with pumpkins but a really fun project and easy to do especially with the window clings And then adding on the Mod Podge, I know taking the time to add the Mod Podge after your craft is finished is kind of annoying making it, letting it dry, but I feel like it just gives it such a better finish and looks really good, and especially, like I said, camouflaging in those window cling stickers. I was excited to find like the thinner pieces as well. So I found these two sizes and I thought it'd be fun to kind of make a stand. Um, so like a little decorative stand, super easy to do. All I did was glue one of the signs just like this to make it stand up and then you can decorate it any way that you would like. And I feel like you could do this for all seasons or make everyday decor, but I um, just hot glued it down and then I took some tower blocks and kind of stacked those up behind it. So it had a lot of support and I knew it wasn't gonna fall down. I'm just going to be decorating the backboard, but if you wanted to, you could actually set some little trinkets or tiny little miniature items on that little shelf piece that's sticking out. But for this, I wanted to use some of my Halloween window clings. Um, I called this video a wood DIY video, but I should have added the window clings in there because I'm using that a ton today. But I painted the main piece white and then the stand black, and that will just give me a nice blank canvas so that all of my stickers will show up. And then the black looks really good for Halloween. I did add in some scrapbooking paper at the bottom just to make it look a little bit more farmhousey. But I love, um, like I say, picking up these window clings. You can see how beautiful that little artwork is. I could never just freestyle that without getting really annoyed and intimidated. Um, but just cutting down some of this black and white buffalo pattern scrapbooking paper to add in that extra detail. But you also could add in ribbon or add something to kind of camouflage the little seam at the bottom. But these actually looked really good together. I 
I love the little witch feet on this window cling. Um, I just think it's really cute. I always love decorating with like ghosts and witches. And then once again, adding that Mod Podge on top just finishes it up. I did try to stick a little bow at the corner and I felt like it was too much. So I ended up not adding it, but thought this was really cute and matches perfect to my DIY candle holders. So I know this is a Dollar Tree wood video, but I just wanted to mention that Walmart has these signs out for $2.98 in the fall section, and it is really cute as is, but I wanted to show you that you can find inexpensive signs such as like Walmart and Dollar General that you can make over. So if your Dollar Tree is kind of limited on supplies, you can definitely check other places for different pieces, but I thought this was such a great deal. A gorgeous scroll sign with the wooden beads, and actually I was worried I would have to repaint this after sanding but I didn't. I was able to kind of sand off all of the letters on there and then it had a perfect like distressed white background. So using more window clings, like I said, I'm going to be using that in tons of today's DIYs, but I love these plaid pumpkins. They were so beautiful and I kind of fix them to where adding in one of the Dollar Tree wooden words, it kind of framed it and I was able to add that to the side, but I didn't like how the pumpkin stems kind of went up into the word and it didn't kind of float in the white. So I ended up trimming them down, but did take a Sharpie and kind of fix them up. And then just sealing off my stickers but you can see like actually checking walmart i actually forget to look at signs that are already created to make over you just think in your head like you don't want to buy signs that are already made that you have to come home and kind of take apart but this was such a great deal and you could not have put this sign together for less than three bucks if you was using the dollar tree items These little palette signs are an all-time favorite. I always pick them up when I see them at Dollar Tree. And a really fun hack that I discovered last year, I actually created a fence for spring and it looked really, really pretty. So I knew I could try to make this with some fall decor, or actually I'm kind of making this look more, a little bit more Halloween. Um, so I did trim off the top to look like a little picket fence. And then I took a tower block, cut that in half. I will say using these miter shears, the tower blocks are a struggle to cut down. Um, I definitely have to put a lot of force behind that, but after I got them cut down, I hot glued everything together and then decorated it up for fall or kind of Halloween. Before I paint the fence or the background of any sign that I'm making, I like to go ahead and lay out what I'm going to be adding to this so I can kind of see or imagine what would look better. I decided to kind of roughly paint this white so um, everything would pop off of it. I love those orange berries that Dollar Tree is putting out, but you also could have stained this wood, but I decided to leave the little thankful word the wood color so I knew it wouldn't show up. So just giving this a nice clean background. I kind of was going for fall decor here, but just with that black and white check, as well as the orange berries, it just kind of looked Halloween to me. And then the word thankful definitely reminds me of Thanksgiving. So I'm not sure, but I feel like this is perfect and it will completely last until Thanksgiving or longer, but looks really cute. And these are such fun little shelf setters. Or if you had like a tiered tray that had a like larger top, I feel like this would also look really cute in there. Another really fun hack, if you pick up these little scalloped pieces and then paint them the coordinating color of a sign, you can actually use these as stands so that you can take any of Dollar Tree's like wall hangings because I know we don't like to hang a ton of those hangings all over our walls. Um, I have been running out of wall space, so I like to actually make these stand up on their own so that these would look really cute on an entryway table. 
If you do use a pumpkin, I do like to trim off the bottom so it makes it a little more flat and it sets a little more flush against the bottom piece. I removed the hanger, added some leaves in so it would kind of camouflage the holes and it wouldn't look like a hanging piece, and then glued this right on top of the scalloped wood piece. And then it will need support behind it, so I just stacked up a ton of these tower blocks and made sure that it was going to be really sturdy. But this is such a cool idea. Like I say, you could do this with any of Dollar Tree's signs and just makes it like not just a hanging sign, but something that you can actually display and enjoy. Thank you all so much for coming along and crafting with me today. Let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. Also, don't forget about Acorn TV. You can go to acorn.tv and use lowercase code crafts by Caitlin to receive it 30 days free. So don't forget to check that out. I know you're going to love it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.